911, do you need police, fire, or medical? Uh, police, I just heard a shot right behind my house. Where at? They're wrestling right in the back of my porch. You just heard one shot go off? It was either that or a rock at the at the window or something. I don't know. The guy's yelling help, and I'm not going out. No, Stanford, one, Florida. Two, two. Stanford, Florida. Is that one or two words? Because it's not accepting it. Twin trees is two words. Okay, and you can hear somebody yelling for help. Um, I'm pretty sure the guy's dead out here. Holy shit. Okay, we have several people calling in also. Anything else that you heard? Uh, no. Guy yelling help. Oh, my God. Um, no. There's a guy with a flashlight in the backyard now. Okay. Uh, I think there's flashlights and there's a guy. Okay. I don't know if that's a cop. Oh, my God. Okay, I have several calls, and you just heard, you sure, you, did you hear when you heard voices? It was just one person there's talking, two, right? There's two guys, there's one, there's two guys in the backyard with flashlights. Okay. Um, and there's a black guy down that looks like he's been shot and he's dead. Yeah. Okay. He's laying, and there's multiple people calling right now, I'm thinking. Okay. I have several officers going out there, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. All right. Investigators here at the Sanford Police Department. Today's date is February the 26th. It's a Sunday. It's 2012. I'm located. What's the address here? The city of Sanford, Seminole County, Florida. I'm interviewing state names there and the airplane. <laughs> Once again, sir, your name again? Okay, sir, this evening you witnessed something or heard something. You tell me what you heard or what you witnessed. Yeah, we pretty much heard someone yelling outside. We wasn't sure if it was, you know, a fight or something was going on. So I open my blinds and I see kind of like a person out there. Didn't know if it was a dog attack or something. So I open my door. Uh, there was a black man with a black hoodie on top of either a white guy or now that I found out, I think it was a Hispanic guy with a red sweatshirt on on the ground, yelling out help. Um, and then you know I tried to tell him, you know, get out of here, you know, stop or whatever. And then uh, the one guy on top in the black hoodie was pretty much just throwing down blows on the guy, kind of MMA style. Ground and uh, pound, okay. Yeah, like a ground and pound on the concrete at this point. So at this point, I told him I was calling 911. I locked my door, went inside, heard a pop, never heard a gunshot before, so I didn't know if it was a rock or something like that. We ran upstairs. As soon as I got upstairs, I looked down below, and then I saw the guy in the black hoodie pretty much just laid out on the ground with the guy in the red shirt standing up because there was two people with flashlights and he was pretty much just, you know, saying, hey, I put the gun down, I'm guessing, uh, you know, here, I'm here. And that's when the lady on the phone with 911 pretty much said there was four more calls coming in okay, all the, at the same time. the person calling for help, would that been the person on, underneath the thing? Yes, that, that was Definitely. the one getting uh, beat up and he was the one with the red sweater on. Okay, and the one that was shot was the one that was on top of the person getting beat up? Correct, correct. So I'm guessing, um, you know, maybe he was yelling out help because he didn't want it to come to that point, and then it came to that point where he was on the concrete, and if you ever got hit on the concrete, it hurts. Did you recognize either one of these individuals? No, that's the bad thing. Okay. Um, I just saw the color of the outfits. Okay, I'm going to conclude this interview. It's now 9-12. Sanford police still trying to figure out exactly what happened in this spot here last night. We talked to a man who didn't want to be shown on camera, who witnessed part of the attack right here, then went upstairs to his window and witnessed the rest of it after he called 911. Hey, what are you thinking now about all this? This afternoon, I talked to John through his front door about what he saw last night during a fight that turned into a deadly shooting. The guy on the bottom, who I believe had a red sweater on, was yelling to me, help, help. I told him to stop and I was calling 911. John locked his patio door, ran upstairs, and heard at least one gunshot. And then when I got upstairs and looked down, the person that was on top beating up the other guy was the one laying in the grass, and I believe he was dead at that point.
Today's date is March 20th, 2012. The time is 6.10 p.m. Present is as well as John Post, or Jim Post with the uh, State Attorney's Office, 18th Judicial, and myself, John Batchelor, a Special Agent with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. The purpose and scope of our inquiry today is to conduct an independent follow-up with regards to the shooting investigation that has been conducted by the Sanford Police Department within your community. The inquiry is being conducted by agents of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement as well as investigators with the Office of the State Attorney. I'm going to hand you a copy titled Narrative Report, Sanford Police Department, and dated February 26, 2012. If you would please look that over and indicate if that is your handwriting, your signature, and a statement that you provided to the Sanford Police Department. That is definitely my handwriting. Yes. Okay, is that your, your signature on the bottom? Correct. As dated February 26, 2012? Yes. Okay. And the time is 6, 12 p.m.? If you would, could you please uh, go over the events that occurred that night on February 26, 2012. About the time around when all this started, we were watching TV like we usually do at nighttime. I believe it was the same weekend as the Daytona 500. And while we were watching TV, we kind of heard some loud noise outside. So we figured maybe it was just, you know, either kids in the neighborhood or people, you know, just having a good time outside. And then we heard it again, so we muted the TV, but didn't hear anything for a second. Um, and then we heard it like it was coming towards us, getting a little louder. So I kept the TV on mute and went to go look outside through the sliding glass door through the blinds. And there's only a porch light, so I couldn't <coughs> truly see what was out in the grass area. And my fiance, I, I'm pretty sure, advised me not to open the door, but I, ha I had to check just to see what was going on. And I opened the sliding glass door, and looking out there, it almost looked like, uh, like a dog attacked by, or something like that, because there was a man vertically looking forward, on, like towards the ground. So if I'm standing at the glass door, I don't know how to describe. It was pretty much like I was laying on the ground directly in front of me, like directly in front of me on the sidewalk. So I couldn't really tell what was going on until I heard help, help, help yelled again. And then I noticed there was a guy in a lighter colored shirt or sweatshirt or whatever he was wearing. Um, I, I think it was a red color or a white color uh, on the bottom of the person. So I yelled what was going on um, and, you know, help, help came out. And then I was like, hey, cut it out. And they kind of turned and made it onto the sidewalk. And the person wearing the black outfit was on top of that person at that time. And that's when I said I was calling 911. I turned around told to get off the phone, get upstairs, and I locked the door and started dialing 911. And as soon as I picked up on 911, a couple seconds later as we were about to make our way upstairs, it sounded like, like a rock hit a window. I've never heard a gunshot before, but now knowing that was the gunshot that I heard. Um, and from that point, as she was still making it up the stairs, I ran upstairs while I was on the phone with the uh, 911 uh, person that answered my call and I ran over to the window to look down and when I looked down I saw the person that was actually on top at that point was laying in my grass kind of in a sprawled position not moving um, and then I saw the another person with his hands in the air as it looked 
I don't believe it was cops at that point. It looked more like neighbors with flashlights that were coming around the corner. Um, and the guy had his hands in the air saying, the gun's on the ground, I shot this guy in self-defense, and no lie, at least maybe 20 seconds later, the cops were already all there. I think it was just because so many people had already dialed in, and the operator also told me that, you know, there was five other callers calling in for the same thing that happened. Um, at that point, um, you know, I think I even stated, you know, holy shit, or something like that. You know, I think he's dead because he wasn't moving. Um, when we went back downstairs, um, you know, I was still shaken up and everything. I'm pretty sure they flipped the body over to do CPR, because I do remember someone trying to do CPR. Um, so at that point, I didn't know if he was still alive or... Where he, I didn't know if he had been, you know, where he had been shot or if he had been shot, but I was guessing at that point when they were doing CPR, he had been shot. Um, and then when I looked out my blinds again a couple minutes later, um, I noticed there was a yellow. Uh, I'm guessing it was a couple minutes. I don't know. The time kind of flew after that point, but I noticed there was a yellow sheet or blanket over uh, the person laying in my grass, and I know that usually means that that person is deceased at that point. Um, and then after that, it was just, you know, pretty much giving statements the rest of the night, um, you know, talking with my neighbors next door. Um, I didn't have my patio door open, but I heard, um, you know, from other people, other people had, you know, doors open or something like that so they could hear it a little better, but I could only hear the helps through, you know, with all the doors and windows closed. So I couldn't tell, you know, who was yelling help, this or that. But you could tell it was a male, of course. Um, but as to who was yelling, I, you know, I, I can't make that call. At first, I thought it was the person on the ground, just because, you know, me thinking rationally, if someone was on top, the person on the bottom would just be yelling. But, you know, that's just an assumption I truly can't tell who, you know, after I thought of, you know, after I'm thinking about it, was yelling help just because it is so dark out on that sidewalk. Um, you can't see a mouth or, you know, I really wish I could have because that would have really helped, but that was pretty much, you know, all I saw at that point. I didn't see how it started. I didn't see how it ended. I just saw the part where they were in an altercation on the ground. You mentioned in the very beginning of your statement mm -hmm. you were inside when all of this started. Mm -hmm. What was you referring to? You could tell it was farther away from where it ended up in the grass area, you know, behind our townhomes right here. It seemed like it was a lot farther away because as time went on, it got closer and you, you could really tell oh that I think that's someone actually yelling help this time and it's not people outside you know roughhousing and you know so when my first uh, thought when I did open the door and noticed it was a man you know on the ground I thought it was just two guys out there wrestling you know just I don't know just horse you know horsing around or something like that but then when I noticed help 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 was yelled out I knew it was serious that's when I said, you know, stop, or I said stop before, I was, what, what's going on? Then I said stop, and they were still wrestling, and then I said that's why I'm calling 911, and then went inside. You keep referring to it, it was farther away. What was farther away? If you hear someone yelling, and they're two blocks, three blocks down, it's going to be a faint uh, sound. You know, you're not going to hear it as loud. But it sounded like it, morally, it more it progressed towards us. I don't know if it was coming from the left or the right, but the sound just got louder um, because I think it either someone had started, you know, yelling help, and it just got closer and closer until, you know, we could truly hear it close enough, and that makes sense because it was right, you know, in the backyard area. That's what I mean. Um, it sounded, you know, like it was getting closer, just the, the sounds of the helps that were getting closer. 
with movement towards you know our location and you're you indicated you're not sure what direction the sounds would have been coming from no did you hear any other noises or sounds other than what you believe to be help no You mentioned when you first opened the door, you, you described what you saw. It might have been a dog fight. Yeah. What made you believe? Because it was so dark outside, and, uh, you know, I, it seemed like the person that was on top or what I could see. Was wearing, the person on top was wearing. All, it was a dark colored jacket. It was like all black jacket or, or something like that. Um I just couldn't tell what was going on because I didn't see anybody <clears throat> underneath. I didn't see anybody on the left or the right. But then uh, there was a guy on the bottom that seemed like he was pushing up or, you know, I can't tell what it was. But then I finally saw, you know, like a guy on the bottom and I heard, you know, help, help, help. And then, you know, I yelled at them and said, hey, cut it out. And, you know, it kept going. And then, uh, you know, I s said, I'm calling 911 and went back inside. You mentioned the person on the bottom. Mm -hmm. What was he wearing when you noticed that? It was either a lighter colored shirt that ha it was, or something red on it, or white. It was. It wasn't an, a solid dark color. You could tell the distinction between, uh, you know, what each person was wearing at that point. You could tell what each person was wearing? Meaning like a dark, one had a dark shirt on compared to another person had a red or a white shirt on. That's what I mean by the distinction. Okay. And the person on top, as indicated in your statement today, mm -hmm. dark colored? Yes. And the person on the bottom was wearing? Either a red shirt or a white shirt of some sort. It happened so <clears> quick, <throat> there's only so many things I could catch right away. But definitely the person on top had a, at that point when I did see them wrestling, it was a dark, you know, sweatshirt or something like that on top. Could you tell if there was a hood up or down? Or not really. Hat it, or anything on the person Not on really, because it, I mean, it was just so dark. And if you see the back sidewalk at nighttime, if someone's out there, you really have to look out there for the most part to even tell if it's you know if it was say you're wearing a hat or a hoodie of some sort okay <clears throat> sorry and this person on top with the dark colored jacket mm -hmm. how was he on or did could you determine if it was a male or female on, on the top i never thought it was a female I don't know if that's just from me thinking, you know, a guy and a girl wouldn't be out there fighting. Um, but it definitely couldn't tell. You couldn't, I mean, there was no long hair or anything like that, so there might have been a hoodie on, um, might have just had all black hair. Um, Could you tell uh, <clears throat> what race the person on top? At that point when I did see it, when I first walked out there, the black guy was on top and the only reason I can tell that was because the guy that was on uh, the ground under him at that point wrestling was definitely a lighter color and this is the time you you are looking out the window yelling at them yes to stop and you indicate that the guy on top is darker yes and how do you know that that's what I'm saying. It, unless he had a hoodie all the way on, it was a dark colored man on top. And the person on the bottom, could you see their face? I could see that it wasn't another dark man on the bottom. That's the only thing that I could truly differentiate. I didn't know if he was white, Hispanic, Asian. I just knew he, what, he didn't have a dark color tone at that, you know, who was on the bottom at that point. At this moment, the person on the top, mm -hmm. how were they positioned? On The guy on top was on top of the other guy, vertically. And, and 
you're going to have to maybe help me with, with vertically when what you're saying. Was he laying down? Yeah, laying down. Yeah, they were on the ground. Like, so if I'm standing up and I lay completely down flat face mm -hmm. first, it's pretty much like if you were on top of someone wrestling. They're on their back. He's on, uh, you know, he's on top of them. And, and this is your first account when you open the door. Yeah. We're still talking about the same event. Yes. Okay. At that moment, when you look out and you see this person on top mm -hmm. in, a, in, in a lane position, mm -hmm. what is happening? They're struggling. That's what I mean by wrestling at that point. I can't tell, you know, what is going on at that point. All I know is someone is on top of the other person, and I hear help, help, help yelled a couple times. And me just thinking that it is the person on the bottom yelling help because, you know, just if anybody saw that, they probably would have thought the same thing, that the person on the bottom is yelling help if you see two guys fighting. Because I couldn't see the front side of uh, the black male's face, but I could see partial, you know, front side of the guy on the bottom because his face was facing this way when he was pushing up or, you know, they were wrestling on top of each other. And this, and when I, when I say how they were laying, the sidewalk out there goes like this. Mm -hmm. They were at that, at that point. Okay. I don't know if that'll help. We'll have you draw here in just okay. a second. Okay. Again, back to the same account mm -hmm. when you're looking out, your initial, we're, mm -hmm. we're referring to your initial view. Correct. Do you see anything in any of, uh, of the two persons' hands? No. I don't see anything in their hands, not to say that there wasn't, but I, I really can't see anything in their hands at that point. And you indicate today you heard while you were looking at this help. Yes. Do you know how many times? I believe it was like three. Two or three, I believe. Did you ever make eye contact with the person on the bottom? When I first saw the account, it looked like... I can't tell if he was making eye contact with me or if he was just trying to get up from the bottom. Uh, being that dark out, you, I can't see that far. I can't tell if he was making eye contact with me. No, I cannot. But it does look like he was trying to get up why they were both wrestling each other. Okay. Was anything else other than help said at that time? Not that I heard. Once I closed the door and ran upstairs, I don't know if anything else was said. When you looked at this individual, you wasn't sure if he was making eye contact. Did you, did you see... Describe what you saw. All I saw was... At first, it looked like just one individual out there. It was dark. I couldn't really tell what was happening. And then after I said, hey, what's going on? I could see that there was another man in a lighter shirt or a lighter sh colored shirt on the bottom who looked like he was trying to get up at that point. And then I heard help, help, help yelled. So that's when I said, I'm calling 911. Or I said, cut it out, and I'm calling 911. And that's when I turned around and locked my door and ran upstairs to call 911. Okay. And in your original statement that you read today, mm -hmm. you indicate, and, and if you would, you can read it. Mm -hmm. Would you... And they move uh, to the sidewalk? Well... Could you start here where you write, I open the door? Yeah. Do you want me to read it out loud? Yes. Okay. Open the door and saw a guy on the ground getting hit by another man on top of him in a straddling position. Position hitting a guy in a red sweatshirt or something of a red top. The guy on the bottom getting hit was yelling help. 
the, the, you indicate the guy on the bottom was yelling help. Yeah, because that's my first thought when, you know, I look out there and I see this happening and the other guy's on top with, you know, I don't know if they're, you know, punches that are being thrown at him at this point or if he's trying to hold him down. Um, you know, it, it really just happened so quick for the most part. But if anybody had not known anything what was going on, that's what it seemed like to me at that point when, you know, I looked out there and there's one guy on top of the other at that point and both arms are, you know, down. I don't know if he's trying to hold him down or if those are actually, you know, punches. Um, but, yeah. Okay. All right, now you, you, you just mentioned moving to the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. So okay. when they were wrestling... When I said cut it out, and before I turned to go inside, they moved up onto the sidewalk. And they're no longer laying this way, they were this way at that point. So they wrestled to that point. And, and, and you're showing um, a parallel with the, yeah, with this the dog is the walk? Si yeah, this is the sidewalk. Okay. They were this way when I first saw them, wrestling and moved to that way. Okay. And, that, and who's in what position? At same position at that point. And, and, what, and what is that? Uh, the guy with the black sweatshirt is on top of the guy with the red or, or white sweatshirt. And that's why I made the statement that it, he was hitting him on top. Because, I mean, that's what it looked like from where I was standing. It could have been him just trying to forcefully hold the guy down, or it could be hitting him. You know, I just truly can't. You know, after I thought, you know, I'm thinking about it and everything, it could have been either. It's, you know, I can't see that close to where they were actually at, but he was still on top with both hands, uh, either trying to hold the guy down or hitting him at that point. At this time in the event that you're describing, mm -hmm. can you now see the face of the person on top? Not Maybe just from the side, that's about it. Did you? I don't even know. Can you see the person's face on the bottom? No. Are they, is there any conversation between the two persons? I did not hear a conversation. Any yelling between the two persons? Just the help and more of a struggle and help. That's what I thought was very odd when, you know, I ran, I opened the door and said to stop that, you know, neither whoever was on top at that point didn't, you know, get off at that point and say, you know, hey, listen, this guy is, you know, attacking me or I'm, a, you know, that's what was weird to me that it didn't stop at that point. And that's when, you know, the helps came out and I yelled, you know, 911, and I'm calling 911 and went back inside. At this time where they changed positions, can you see anything in either one of them's hands? No. And I think I asked you, but I'm going to ask again, could you see the person on the bottom's face? No, I just see the color of the outfits for the most part. Which was? Uh, the red on the bottom and the black sweatshirt on top. Okay. Now at that point, when I did see, when they did move to the sidewalk, it was 1-2, calling 911, inside. So it was that quick. And I'm going to have you take a piece of paper here. I'm going to give you a pen. Okay. And I would like you to, you can show that an X or an O where the, 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 the two individuals you're describing was located. Please indicate your house, maybe something else that would be a landmark. <clears throat> and then would you please... Uh, show the first position that you described in your statement today and label it number one okay. and then the second position that you described today and maybe put a number two or label it as number two above it please
that home. Okay, we are looking at a, a sketch provided by me. You have door of patio, you have one and two, where it says door of patio. Is this going to be your residence? Yes. Okay, would you write uh, maybe my house? Did you notice anybody else out there? No. During either the first position you observed or the second position, did you notice anybody else outside? No. Okay. In your statement today, you indicated that you closed the door to call 911 to get my phone and call 911. Correct. Was it during that conversation that you heard the rock as you described on the window? Yes. Where were you at inside the house at this point? I want to say <clears throat> I was about, I don't know how far that is from the window there, but I was right about going up the stairs right there as was following me. Could you tell me again what happens after that? I'm on the phone with 911. I tell them, you know, I think I heard a, sh you know, it sounded like something hit my window or a shot went off, I think. Um, and I run upstairs as fast as I can to see what happened from above instead of going right back to my door because I have no idea if there's, you know, a gunfight or anything going on in the backyard. So I go upstairs to a more safe location. When I get upstairs, then I look down and I notice that uh, the guy that was on top is actually in the grass, uh, not moving why the other gentleman has his hands in the air um, and there's other, uh, I think there were two other gentlemen out there with flashlights asking what was going on and the one guy that was on the bottom said I shot the other guy in self-defense, my gun's on the ground. You mentioned earlier that the person on top when you went out to view was mm. in a sprawled position, Correct. not moving. Correct, and that's when I actually said on the call, I believe he's dead. Can you describe if he w this person was face up or face down? From how I was looking at it, it looked like he was face down. And how was this person's hands positioned? It almost looked like a crime scene. Uh, <clears throat> A crime scene photo that you would see painted on a floor with the legs kind of, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it wasn't in, you know, arms next to each other, legs next to each other. It was kind of in a sprawled position. I just remember looking at the legs and, and thinking, oh, that has to be face down and not the other way because I'm pretty sure he was face down. You keep moving your hands and again for the yeah. sake of the auto recording can you try to indicate the sprawled the hands position? I mean that's kind of what uh, I'm trying to remember the full position of the body when I'm looking down into the grass but it is in a position you know with one hand up you know one hand down type of position and the position that I saw him in there was not the position that I saw him when I went back downstairs and opened my blinds. Uh, he was on it. It looked like he had been turned on his back, uh, you know, hands and legs next to each other. And that's why I also, you know, thought that he was face down because they had to flip him to give him CPR when they got here. Because I don't think if he was on his back, uh, the medical staff would have moved him at that point to make sure nothing else was wrong. I think the only reason why they had to move him because he was face down and they had to flip him to give him CPR. Again, referring to the hands real mm -hmm. quick for the sake of the audio recording, mm -hmm. you were indicating a hand position kind of as if you were swimming with a hand forward Correct. and a hand back. Correct. That's as a face down position. Correct. 
you indicated when you came downstairs the body was flipped over. By the time I came downstairs, like I said, it was, I mean, 20 seconds, the cops were already here. Okay. Um, and by the time, you know, I didn't open the blind <clears throat> as soon as I came downstairs because, of course, you know, I'm still frazzled and everything. But when I did open the blinds, uh, he looked like he had been turned and the body wasn't in the same position because I'm guessing they flipped him over because I did see them giving CPR. Okay. Was it, who was giving CPR? That I really couldn't. I couldn't tell. I didn't know if it was maybe the guys out with flashlights, if it was the cops at that point. Um, and I really didn't want to actually look out there because it was very traumatic seeing that. And what made you think it was CPR they were doing? Uh, no, I could see them over, you know, and you could kind of hear through the window a little bit. Um, From the time you hear these sounds, as you indicate in today's statement mm -hmm. initially to the time you hear the rock as you indicate against the glass mm -hmm. door how long do you think that was I, I truly couldn't even give an estimate um, maybe five minutes maybe um, I mean at that point you know I'm really not keeping track because I just think it's something else going on um, but, you know, I, yeah, I really don't know how long between, you know, when we first initially thought we heard something to when we knew someone was out in our back and, you know, it was a lot louder. Okay. And you indicated that you turned your porch light on? A porch light's always on. So what color is on. your, what color is your porch light? Uh, just a regular light. White light, not yeah, a yellow light. or anything? No. Okay. But it also only shines on my patio part because it's got a, a globe around it. So it's not like a floodlight or anything like that. Do you know what the weather was that night? Ugly. It was, <laughs> it was drizzly. <coughs> uh, definitely not a, a nice night out. When you say drizzly? Uh raining a little here off and on and it was dark at that time of course um i just wanted to try to clarify a little bit on when you said that they were rustling mm -hmm. Can you describe what either person was doing a little bit more with their hands? It looked like almost a struggle, a hand struggle. If I was on top of you, you know, just kind of wrestling around trying to get look like a position of some sort maybe. Mm -hmm. um, that's all I could, you know, see with the hands for the most part. And then the, if you were the person on the bottom, um, I'm not sure if he was holding on to the guy on the top or if he was trying because it looks like he's trying to get up uh, from the one point when I do see him finally because I only see one guy at first um, it looks like the other guy was trying to get up because I mean his back was raised off uh, the ground at that point so it looked like he was trying to get up at that point but I don't know I couldn't see his hands the guy on the bottom I couldn't see where his hands were so I don't know if they were on the other guy's sweatshirt or if he was, you know, trying to actually push off of him or anything like that. I couldn't see the other guy's hands. Okay. At, at one point in a verbal statement that you gave, you had mentioned, um, like, MMA. Yeah. What was when it moved, you referring to? When there? it moved onto the concrete, um, the guy in the black shirt or sweater was on top of him. Um, and when I say, when I meant to say MMA, it was more of just like he was, you know, over his leg part. Like he, it, I'm trying to think how to put this. If you, if you ever watch MMA, the guy that's on top is usually in control is what I, that's what I meant. Like he had control at that point is what I meant. Um, as... 
if I was on top of you at that point, I don't know if I'm trying to hold you down. That's what I was saying. It looked like, uh, you know, he had been hitting him from on top, but, you know, I can't truly see how close, you know, they were to each other if he was hitting him or if he was trying to hold him down in that position until the cops got there. So that's what I mean in a, in a MMA position because it's usually called like a mounted position or, or something like that, but I'm not sure if that's what it was. But he was on top at that point. Okay. Is this information, do you, do you uh, follow the MMA fighting? Do you, do you have I you use, fought or no, wrestled? No, I don't fight or wrestle, no. Um, you know, I just watch it. It's all over the TV now, so. <laughs> yeah, it's just everywhere. So that's just when, you know, I made that statement. That's the type of uh, body situation he was in at that point. Um, but like in my first statement that I made, I did say he was hitting him from on top. Um, because that's what it looked like. I mean, he could have still been hitting him, but or he could have been trying to hold him down. You know, it was, you know, I really truly can't tell at that point. Um, but my first reaction, you know, from what, just seeing it real quick, bam, 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 uh, that's what it looked like at that point. Okay. When, when they were laying on the ground, mm -hmm. the person on the bottom would have been some degree facing you. Uh, I mean, flat, but yeah. but facing towards you, maybe even an angle. The person on the top would have been facing away. Away, okay. correct. When I want you to just take a minute and mm -hmm. think about the the help, help, mm -hmm. help. And is there any indication whether? I mean, does that give you any recollection as to whether... Timing, timing wise? No, I'm trying... What I, I guess what I'm saying is when somebody's facing you, sometimes it's a clearer... That's and, why and I, I thought when I first gave my statement, it was coming from the guy on the bottom. One, he was on the bottom. So, of course, I'm thinking, why would the guy on the top be yelling help? Two, it was a clear help. It wasn't an echoey help. A help bouncing off, you know, another house from the guy facing away from me. It was more of a projected uh, help at that point. So that's why when I say I can't truly see the face if the guy on the bottom was yelling help, that's why I thought, uh, you know, the help was coming from the guy on the bottom at that point because it was a clear help and it wasn't, uh, you know, kind of an echoey, of, you know, bouncing off walls type of help. Gotcha. If that helps. Based on the 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 help mm -hmm. help and what you observed in the first position, mm -hmm. what did you feel was happening at first? Or what did you, based on what you were seeing, mm -hmm. what did you think was happening? Two guys fighting. Okay. Of that, who did you, if if based on what you were looking at and your observation, mm -hmm. who? had the advantage based on your observation at that point whoever had the advantage was the guy wearing the black shirt there were no um, you know punches at that point or any hands flying you know in the air it was just more of looked like it was wrestling but he was on top at that point as you indicate on your in, on your drawing here into the second position from that observation what did you feel was happening at that point? That the person that was still on top had the other guy on the concrete at that point. And I felt at that point, that's when I said, when they didn't stop, that I'm calling 911 and locked my door inside because it looked like it was getting intense at that point. And the person on top at that time was? Is wearing the black sweater or outfit at that time. But as I said, when I first saw it, just how quick everything happened, it looked like he was on top, the one wearing the black sweater, and there were, uh, you know, hits being uh, given from the top. Um, but 
thinking back on it, you know, it could have just been him trying to hold him down too as keep him secure. But, you know, I don't know. I didn't get to see pictures of either of them. Yeah. In, in the second position, who did you feel had the advantage? Same person. Who was? Uh, wearing the black top. Because from what I saw, uh, which was probably only 10 seconds, maybe, of how quick it was me yelling, you know, this, that, help, help, me coming back inside. For that 10 seconds, uh, it was always the same person on top wearing the black uh, jacket or sweater. Would you, uh, on the same piece of paper, mm -hmm. would you just indicate when you went upstairs mm -hmm. and you looked out the window after you heard what you described as the rock and you looked out say it say could you describe where, you, where the per, the person okay. who is is in this statement that you mentioned you want me to just make another three over here and uh, just, do it? just from right here off of the number two drawing where the person on top the person on top okay. uh, that as per your statement yeah. the person on top was in a sprawl position not moving where, where was that location of that person? And, and if you'll just put a little three beside it and circle it so we'll know that is a, okay. Now, will you initial and date? It is the 20th, 6.53 p.m. About how far in, in were they from your, and we'll walk over there uh, from your advantage point to where this was, about how far do you think it was? You're talking about from from where you were point looking, three, or just from, from where I saw from one, one and two when you were looking from oh, the right at the window, and they were right before the sidewalk starts. Okay. Yeah. And you porch light was on mm -hmm. with the white light and a lamp on mm -hmm. on there, and you indicated that there was no one else that you could see mm -hmm. out there at that point. Correct. Also, I don't know if my drawing is going to help. But from what I remember, they start here when I saw them. It was on the concrete, but then I end up seeing the body of the guy that was on top farther down in the grass from where I first saw them. I don't know if you wanted. And, 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 right, and we'll walk Yeah, and that's why I put, yeah, because it's definitely, he's, from the end position, he's definitely farther from when I stopped seeing them on the sidewalk. Okay. Have you provided a statement other than this written one? Did yes. You, and, and was that? I believe that was the detective. And how was that statement given? On the same night, in person, outside my residence, and then I'm not sure how many days later, uh, via phone again. So you provided two statements to the Sanford Police Department? I think it was the Sanford Police Department, uh, Chief of Police maybe, or crime scenes investigator, I think that's what his name was. An investigator. Yeah, investigator, yeah. After these events, have you spoken to anyone? Only the, I believe it was the next day. And was anybody in the house at the time? Uh, here, <sighs> not with the reporter, I'm sorry, during the events on the 26th? Oh, no, there was no one else besides me. And you, okay. Yeah. I can't think of anything else. We're going to conclude the interview today at 6.55 p.m. We are back on the record. Today's date is uh, March 20th, 2012, approximately 7.24 p.m. Next till time present is Jim Post, State Attorney's Office, 18th Judicial Circuit. Myself, John Batchelor, Special Agent with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Upon conclusion of the interview, we came outside and we observed uh, some of the areas as identified in his initial statement. Uh, we returned to swear the initial statement in, if you would raise your right hand. The statement you provided today, do you swear that that's the truth? Yes. This concludes the interview at 7.24 p.m. Okay.
State your name for the record, please. My name is Bernie Delarion. I'm an assistant state at attorney appointed on this case, obviously involving something that happened back on Sunday. I believe it was February 26th of this year. And I know you've spoken to the Sanford Police Department. You've spoken to Florida Department of Law Enforcement. You've spoken to a bunch of people about this. And I don't want to belabor everything you've already told them, but I did have a few questions that I don't believe were asked of you, so I want to make sure that we get this under the record. Uh, let me. You, can you raise your right hand? You saw me swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and not as much truth to help you guys. Yes. Okay. Has anybody threatened you in order to get to make the statement right now? Has, have I made you any promises or threatened you in any way? No, okay. just ner just uncomfortable. <laughs> well, if we can stop if you feel uncomfortable. No, that's fine. It's just, yeah, it's, that's I'm, a lot of stress. But I appreciate, right. number one, you agreeing to meet with us. And as I told you, we just got involved in the case. And so we're trying to just eyeball it, I guess, the persons who we deal with. And we've already read the statements, or, or I should say listened to the statements, so I don't want to belabor all that. But in my review of the statements that you previously get, I don't know that anybody asked you specifically about the sounds in terms of the struggle, how they were, and that's what I wanted to ask you if that's all right with you. Mm -hmm. Is that all right with you? That's fine. Okay. What I want to ask you is you described at some point that there was a man on top of another man. Correct. And from your perspective, you correct me if I'm wrong, you described the man on top either hitting or struggling with the man in the bottom. Is correct. that correct? Okay. Correct. And what I, the man on top, when you observed him with his hands doing something to the man on the bottom, did you ever hear like, like this, like a fist, like, you know, when... No. You've seen, you've heard that before, I'm assuming, right? Yes. Somebody actually striking somebody hard like I'm doing right now. Correct. And for the record, I am not striking you. Is that no. correct? I, I punched my hand, did I not? Yes. Okay. Did you ever hear anything like that? No. Did not okay. hear a punch sound. Okay. Did you ever, ever hear any sound like a head or another part of a body hitting concrete hard where you, it made a noise? No, I did not. Did you hear it at all? Any, like... Just a struggle sound. Okay. So you never heard anything like... A loud bang, like if I were to bang this this uh, table right here. Did you ever hear that? No. Okay. Mr. Guy, was there anything else you needed to add? Okay. I thank you again very much for your cooperation. That's it. And that's it.